Well, I guess this is the main trail. So let's see what there is to see. <laughs> kind of makes me think, where are you headed? Do you know? Do you remember where it was that you were headed when you were younger? What your hopes and dreams were? Some of you probably achieved that. Some of you have achieved that and lost that. And some of you thought you might have achieved it, but you're not so sure. I'm not talking about the people in your life. Because me, for one, I love the people that are in my life. No questioning that. Wonder where that goes. That's a lot like life, isn't it? You go this way or you go this way. It's the choices you make. Let's go this way. Then you come to like this in life. See the bird? You have a trail going this way, or a clearing going this way, a clearing going this way, a clearing going back that way, and then you can go back to where you came from. Lots of choices to be made in life. I guess the question is, what choices do you make? You know, there's the normal thing in life when you grow up. You find a wife or a husband, whatever. You get married, you have children, you work a nine to five job or 11 to seven or whatever it might be, full-time regular job, day in and day out. You have a few Good things here and there, little vacations. But you live the normal life. Is that what you was wanting? Or do you think there was more to it? We make decisions and we have to live with them, whether they were right or wrong. And you try to have as few regrets as possible. I don't have any major regrets, just some minor ones. It's really pretty up there, isn't it? And sometimes you're living a normal life and things happen. You come up with cancer. And it kind of throws a whole new spin to the ball game. And sometimes you're lucky and you beat it. Sometimes you don't, but in my case I did so far. But it makes you stop and wonder what you haven't done, what you haven't seen. And it's not the fact that you don't want the people that's in your life to not be in your life. It's the fact that it could have been over. And you might not have got a chance to experience some of the things that you just dreamed about. Not that you're gonna to get to experience all of them anyway, but if something doesn't change, <laughs> You're not going to get to. That's a fact. But at what cost? The cost of a relationship? That's the suck part. And sometimes you don't want to lose that relationship. You want to share those dreams and those experiences. But 
sometimes things in life don't go as planned and the opportunity for the other one to share that in your life isn't as easy easily accomplished which I understand that I really do but does that mean everybody gives up on everything and just goes back to the normal what you're supposed to do and by the way who said what you're supposed to do you know it's what we were taught but you know if you really want to get right down to it and go back about 2025 years or 2030 years whatever Did Jesus himself settle down, find a wife, and have children? No. He traveled, experienced things, and spread the word. There was nothing normal about his life, that's for sure. So do you know where you want to go? Do you even remember who you are? Now, nobody's on this trail listening to me. They'd be thinking, that old man's crazy. And see, here you go again. You can go up through there. Or you can stay on the smooth path. The path that you're supposed to follow. Yeah, we follow that path. But like I said, What if something happens and you come to a dead end? Then you didn't experience things, you didn't see things. Where is all this going? <laughs> Dang if I know. Be a tough climb on a bicycle, that's for sure. Hit a wild ride going down hitting that curve. Got a little berm right there. <laughs> Kinda like the cotton eyed Joe. Where did you come from? Where did you go? That's pretty. I don't know if I can capture that in a picture or not. Oh, the whole thing. Let's check this out. I don't have the answers. I don't know that anybody has the answers. I know what I want sometimes. And then sometimes I'm like, am I being stingy? Is the simple things in life not so simple? This trail would be so much more enjoyable if you had somebody to enjoy it with. But sometimes they're not able to do that. And they make you feel bad for when you want to do that. Sometimes they say that you only think about yourself. That's not true. Not all the time. But sometimes I do. I think we all do. Maybe not all the time. And maybe not often enough. But I think we all do at different times. It's kind of a weird video. Like I said, the whole purpose of that video is just to make you stop and think. Stop and think about life, who you are. Try to remember that, who you were and who you are and who you want to be. And what do you want to be? Where do you want to go? What do you want out of life? My life is well over halfway over. And I have accomplished a lot. And I'm proud of a lot. But I haven't experienced as much as I would like to. So what do you do? Which road or which trail 
Do you go down? Do you even know where the trail's going? <laughs> In this case, no, I don't. I'm just walking and talking. It's really a beautiful park. South D&D &D at Possum Kingdom Lake. It's owned and operated by the Brazos River Authority. It's free camping. There's no amenities. Well, if you come over to take a shower at North D&D &D here at Possum Kingdom Lake, you're going to be out of luck. Because they have little porta potties sitting out here, so you're in luck there. But showers, they are locked. Well, sometimes there's a bathroom, but as y'all saw, or didn't see, they are locked up. They have porta potties out there, though. Don't you wish life? We'll give you signs like this. Like, if you want this, you go this way. If you want this, you go this way. Because I'll be danged if you don't screw up. And sometimes you head down one trail, and you should have went down the other. Trail to the top. That sounds like where I want to go. It's kind of different. <laughs> Somebody had a little cactus carving instead of a pumpkin carving. That's quite original. Just when you think you're to the top, you realize you're not. You have further to go. So as you work your way to the top, what do you sacrifice? because you know sacrifices have to be made. But to what expense? Is it worth the expense? I guess that depends on what you're talking about. Well, didn't even see that. <laughs> Prime example how big things can be so close, but you're that far. Hmm. Interesting. You gotta think about that. I'm going to.